Hey guys, DJ McCullough here. So I've been seeing this trend on Instagram where people post multiple images of themselves in one photo. And I thought it was pretty cool, so I wanted to try and recreate it, and I'm gonna show you how I do it. I know that you can do this using layers in Photoshop, but I don't know how to use Photoshop. You probably don't know how to use Photoshop, so I'm not gonna be using Photoshop. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna come out really, really good. I have a really good idea in my head, so I'm excited to take you guys along with me and show you how I accomplished this clone photo. So first things first, you're gonna to want to decide what setting you're gonna use and what different poses you're gonna to wanna to use. I'm just gonna be shooting in my living room. It is a, a pretty wide and well-lit space in my apartment and I've come up with five different poses that I'm going to be doing. So I'm shooting this image to go along with a blog post where I'm writing 25 free or cheap things that you can do in the house, which if you're interested in that blog post, feel free to look down below in the description box because it will be there. Now you can use the same outfit in every single pose. I've seen that done and I think that also looks really good, but I am going to be doing a little bit extra. So I'm gonna have each pose be a completely different look. So I'm gonna be changing the wig, I'm gonna be changing the outfit um, and doing a different activity. So I think it'll just make the image stronger and more powerful and yeah, I'm excited to do it. So in order to make this work, you're going to need a camera. You don't have to use a DSLR camera, but I am going to be using one. You can also just use your phone if you want. You're also going to need a tripod. This is the tripod that I use. I'm going to link all the tech down below in the description box. If you're going the phone route, you can, instead of using a tripod, you can use just like a stand like this. I have this stand that I use for my phone. Then you could just like set it on a table and then put your phone there and then take the picture. So the last thing you need ideally is a remote or some kind of way to control your camera. If you're using a DSLR camera, you can just use a handheld remote or if your camera can connect to your phone via Wi-Fi, you can use your phone as a remote, which is what I typically do when I'm shooting because my camera doesn't have a flip up screen. If you're using your phone as the camera, then obviously you can't also use the phone to see what's going on. So I'd recommend either using a timer function on your cell phone and just kind of like running back and forth really quickly, or you can use an Apple Watch or another like smart device that can connect to your phone and also has the capability to take pictures. So. That's really all you need, things that you probably already have. Um, otherwise, yeah, it's just time to get started. done shooting. I am so happy with how the poses came out. I am glad that I thought about my poses ahead of time because otherwise I would have spent a lot of time in between shots and then if you take too long you run the risk of like the light changing and then it just makes it harder to edit later. But now I am going to upload all of my photos to my computer 
in Lightroom and then access them on my phone and then we're gonna go from there. So now that I have my photos selected on Lightroom on my desktop, it's just easier for me to see on the big screen like which ones I like better. I'm not gonna open up Lightroom on my phone. Then going to sort by the filtered photos and just going to select all of them, the ones from this thing that we did. And I'm gonna export those to my phone. So rather than applying my like Lightroom presets individually on all the photos and then combining them, I'm gonna combine them first and then just do one like edit for Instagram. So now I'm gonna open up Snapseed. It's a free app for both Android and iOS. So I'm going to click just the most recent photo. Now you're gonna to go to tools and double exposure. Select add photo go to the next photo in the batch and you can kind of see it like phases out both of the photos what you're going to do is turn the opacity all the way up and hit check now we're going to go to this little tool up in the top right go to view edits click on double exposure um, click on this middle paintbrush and now with your double exposure on 100 percent you're going to paint over where you were in the corner and because you haven't moved your tripod you know you can theoretically paint over more of the photo and it will all still look the same so that now we have two i'm just going to continue doing that so now i'm going to go back i have both of my photos i'm going to go to tools double exposure add in another one turn the opacity all the way up and do that brushing again. So I'm gonna get in a little tighter here just to make sure that I make sure that I get all of this. Cool, now we have three, almost there. Ah, oh, it looks so good! Oh my gosh, I can't deal. All right, so there I have my five photos all in one. I'm going to now export this photo. You're gonna to wanna to save it as a copy or an export, either one, but you just don't wanna do the first selection. Great, now I have that. I'm going to close it out, go back into Lightroom, add that photo, and now I can do whatever edits that I want to do. done that is how I did a clone photo really easy it took me an hour to lay out the outfit shoot the pictures do the editing and now I have a really cool photo that I can post over on Instagram which by the way if you're not following me on Instagram yet make sure that you head over to my Instagram at Ijamakola and give me a follow if this video helped you if you found this interesting if you learned a new skill please, please, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with somebody. If you decide to use this strategy on one of your photos, feel free to tag me on Instagram. I would love to see what you guys come up with. I hope that you are staying safe, you are staying well during this time, and that you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Thanks so much, guys, for watching this video. I will check you out in the next one.